you are viewing this video on YouTube. Do you know that only handful of videos on YouTube have generated over 1 billion YouTube views. On the other hand, there are millions of videos that have only been watched a handful of times on YouTube. This means that maximum revenue is generated by YouTube from video that have not generated maximum views. This business model where dependency on top performing video is limited is regarded as long tail business model. In other words, YouTube benefits from long tail of niche videos. Wide variety of videos on diverse topics are added every minute adding to the content on YouTube and thereby adding to its long tail. Apple offered its customer wide variety of music in iTunes stores. Revenue generated from individual song is minuscule but through sheer mass of songs user downloaded it generated substantial amount of revenue. Long tail business model concentrates on selling small quantities of very large range of product in contrast to 8020 rule which states that 80% of revenue is generated from 20% of the product. With this model, marsh and niche products are generate equal share in revenue and in some extreme cases niche product can even bring in larger share of revenue than mass product. Let's explore some example of long tail business model. Amazon is offering all kinds of product, popular, niche or new gen product on its platform while ensuring that they are competitively priced. It allows Amazon to address wide audience of potential customer through wide offering and good price, rather than relying on few high margin products and few individuals. Individual product margin might be low but the sheer majority of transaction adds up to significant revenue for Amazon. Netflix offers wide variety of content on its platform. This allows customer to target broad range of audience as it is easy to make content available and let user choose what they want to watch. The large library of videos make Netflix revenue non-dependent on any specific video. Facebook offers its advertising solution to companies across all range of advertising budget who can advertise the product on Facebook platform to target audience. Although individual customer may not have a big advertising spend, but the number of companies using Facebook as a medium for advertising adds up to significant revenue portion of Facebook. Friends, Share your views in comment section below. Where have you noticed application of this pattern or any variant of this pattern? Looking forward to your views.